Hi, it's Kate. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you've seen in the title of the video, I'm having TikTok boys pick my outfits for a week. I've seen this trending on YouTube and I really wanted to try it for myself. I'm really excited that Princess Polly is sponsoring this video. So basically, I posted on my Instagram and TikTok asking you guys who I should ask to pick my outfits and you guys gave me some at signs. So I DM'd them, shot my shot, and some of them actually um, replied. So then I gave them Princess Polly's website and said that you can go crazy, pick whatever you want. So first First off, a little bit about Princess Polly. You guys know that I love shopping there. They're an Australian boutique and they honestly have the cutest clothes ever. I shop from there at least once a month because I just, I can't. It's so cute. I love everything on their website. So, I mean, this couldn't go that bad, you know? All the pieces that I feature in this video are gonna be linked down in the description box. And you can use my discount code Kate for 20% off your entire purchase. All orders over 50 USD get free expedited shipping, so it comes in literally two to three days. And Princess Polly also offers afterpay, so you can spread out your payments and you don't have to pay everything at once. So go get shopping. And without further ado, let's let TikTok boys pick my outfit. So the top I'm wearing right now is also from Princess Polly. I have not worn anything like this before, but it has like a little tie and it's just so cute, extremely flattering, highly recommend. And now we're gonna change out of it into Jackson's outfit. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ta-da! So Okay, so for Kate's outfit, I chose the skirt first. Um, I thought it was a cute color and it would look good on her based on what she normally wears. Um, and then to pair that, I thought it would look good with a white crop top. Um, but I'm into kind of like that preppy look with like the cardigan and stuff. Um, so as a compromise, I went with like a long sleeve, kind of like looser fitting crop top. Um, but yeah, I hope, hope she likes it. So in this video, Jackson is the only person that I actually know in real life. Um, we've been going to school together since I think sixth grade. At our school, people generally dress kind of bad. Sorry, no offense. It's kind of a Hawaii thing, like guys here just don't know how to dress. I think that's just like the culture almost, so then no one tries, and it's just like unusual if you do try, so then no one tries. You know, it's not like LA or New York City, stuff like that. But anyways, he's like one of the few people who dress very nice. I appreciate it. So I knew that I could count on him to not make me look like a Dumbo, and he definitely delivered. So this is the outfit that he picked out for me. Got this white puff sleeve with this nice like bustier kind of, I actually don't have boobs, but like this top kind of gives you that illusion, so I'll take it. This skirt is a really pretty pink color and it just has these little flowers on it. So every day I'm gonna have ratings for my outfit. So I'm gonna have how close to my style it is, what my Instagram followers rate it, and lastly, what my parents rate it, which I think will be really fun. So personally for me, this top is super, super my style. Um, when Jackson sent me the link, I was like, oh wait, I already have this top in my closet already. And then I've never been someone who wore skirts just because I always felt like I couldn't really move in them or they would be really constricting, but this skirt has actually got a lot of good movability and I feel like it's the perfect length. It hits like right here, my fingertips, and when I like sit, it's not like uncomfortable and I feel really like I can just like move around and not have to worry about stuff slipping out. So I'm really liking that and I feel like this is low-key gonna get me into buying more skirts now because like it's so cute. So the top is a five out of five and the skirt is a three out of five. But all together, I love, love, love this outfit. And I feel like this is very my aesthetic. So now I'm gonna post a mirror selfie, post it on my story and see what people think of it. So on a scale from one to 10, my followers rated this an 8.5. I think that they really like this one because they were like asking me where it's from. People said that it was similar to like best dress and you guys know that I love Ashley. So big compliment. And I feel like it was overall really girly and on brand with like my feed, my style. Hi daddy. Yes. What do you think of my outfit today? How come it's, I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> but it looks weird. <laughs> the sleeve is weird? Yeah. I know it's that you wear such, such guys. Girl is uh, beautiful, but uh, that's too short to me. <laughs> too short. Get it longer. Make it longer. To get it in me. To the knee. Yeah. Okay. Well, what would you rate this? Maybe. Out of ten. Out of ten. Ten is the best, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Love you, girl. Love you. What do you think of my outfit today? Mm, nice. Kind of fancy. What fancy. would you rate it? Ten. Wow, I'm a 10. So my dad and I just went on a little shoot. The outfit. This is my first time wearing shoes in two months. Almost two, two months, months I think. Months, months. I just have not been wearing shoes because like we're just at home, you know? But like 
Ooh, golden hour. Now insert the photos right here. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Hey, what's up, guys? So, my name is Tenzing, and um, today I'm gonna help Kate get like a fit gone from Princess Polly. Well, what I wanted to do with this fit was like make like a female version fit of myself because I mean, I just wanted to see how it looks like on females usually. You guys see, I usually rock like a 2000s like kind of baggy fit, you know, but switch it up a little bit with new stuff. And like, I always wear like an oversized t-shirt with like some kind of a band or um, nostalgic like print on it. I picked her a Thrill Scorpion Rose Merch tee because that's like one of the coolest t-shirts I found from the, from the fit. And the to go with it, I have this Ursa knee ripped jeans with darker fits. I usually always recommend like a silver jewelry, like a thick chain and like a skinny one pendant. That's one fit that I got for her. Hello, day two, what's up? Um, this is so cool. I literally never dress like this ever, but I'm loving it. Got this oversized graphic tee. I really like the color of this whole outfit. I know that you guys are not used to seeing me wearing such dark colors, but I actually really like it. It's kind of like my alter ego. I don't really know what we're naming her, but comment down below what my alter ego would be named. I've never been allowed to wear ripped jeans, but now I'm 18. And this is, you know, technically I got these for the videos, so I mean, may as well start wearing them out around. It's really cool because they're so easy to like move around in and you got that nice breeze while you're moving around, which is kind of cool. This is like the ultimate comfy outfit, but you also just look really cool because I feel like everything looks really coordinated. It's really cool to be chose like mini me because I can definitely see him wearing something super similar to this. His Instagram always has like super cool outfits and he did not let me down with his fashion sense so this is definitely not my style at all although I do really like it and might try to incorporate this into my wardrobe more often my followers are definitely gonna be shook when they see me post this on my story for how close to my style it is I would give it like maybe a three or a four because I like oversized shirts but definitely I never wear dark colors although I'm kind of digging it so my followers rated this an 8 out of 10. The keywords were edgy and cool for most of the responses, but they did think it was really weird to see me wear such dark colors, which I did expect though because I usually wear really pastel stuff, so they thought it was not my style. But some people were like, it was cool as like an alter ego vibe, and some people just didn't like it. I'm about to show this to my mom, and low-key I feel like she's gonna get mad because like she hates ripped jeans. Personally, I'm loving the style, but let's go see what she has to say about this. Mm. <laughs> what? Oh, what's that? Lobster. The scorpion. Yeah, I wanna eat. <laughs> yeah, I wanna eat. bite. <laughs> what do you think of this outfit? <laughs> My mom said it's Halloween vibes. Yeah, and I here have a hole too. I kind of like. My mom does not like holes. Uh, four, three, four. <laughs> okay. I want to buy for you. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. It's okay, thank you. Yeah, I kind of like part of me. Now we're gonna go ask my dad what he thinks, and I'm very curious to see what he thinks. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so weird. Four? Okay. Out of the ten. That's what mommy gave it too. Yeah, okay. No other comments. No. That's not fit you. <laughs> that went about as expected. My Asian parents are not down for these holes or for all this black. It's so funny though to like see how big of like a cultural difference I guess this is. Like in Chinese culture, they really like like light, bright colors and definitely no rips and stuff. Just do my makeup. Look at my new lashes. Like I will link the lash serum down below, but this is all lash serum like it changed the game for me and I'm honestly shook. Anyways, right now I'm gonna go run some errands. It's my friend Brandon's birthday today, so we're gonna drop him off some stuff. I'm gonna go to the grocery store, get some candy, his favorite smoothie at the Boba place. I wanted to complete the ultimate outfit looking like Tenzing. I definitely would wear these, but since they're still not broken in and I'm really bad at wearing them, I'm just gonna wear my sneakers. Definitely would recommend wearing some kind of boots with it. I feel like boots make it more stand out than regular sneakers, than regular sneakers. I'm just gonna wear my sneakers. Fuck. <clears throat> Down, yeah. 
I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Hello, who are you? Hey, give me a second. I'm eating. Hi, guys. I'm here with Ryan because he's shy and he didn't want to do this recording himself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to say? Hey, guys. I can't do this. I picked the, the white dress outfit. was because, to me, she seems like an angelic character. Aww. It's not white. Actually, the, the whole point I chose that outfit was because I thought it was white. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dress is cute, at least, so... Not as cute as me. I thought you were going to say not as cute as me. But I, I, I mm -hmm. guess. Okay, it's fine. I just got a haircut. My hair is normally a lot prettier. I don't agree. His hair is just always bad, guys. I'm unsubbing. You were never even subscribed. Is it still? Yeah, it was. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> In conclusion, I chose the champagne outfit for Kate by accident because I thought it was white. Hello! Good morning! Happy day three! So today's outfit was picked out by my friend Ryan. You guys might know him if you've seen my TikToks or his TikToks. This is the outfit that he picked for me. It's champagne, satin, floral. You guys know that I love, love, love this type of material. And then he also picked this really pretty necklace to go with it. And then it has a really cool corset boning type of thing going on too. I feel like I don't see a lot of dresses that are in this style, but I definitely think that it's on a comeback. It would generally be more of like a boyish cut, but I feel like when it's paired with like a super feminine fabric, it just looks really cool with like the juxtaposition. And I really, really like this piece because this fabric is so me. I would probably give it like a seven on how close to my style it is. This print is super, super me, so it definitely gets like the five out of five, but I usually wouldn't pick this cut or like something that looks like a bit more formal, but I feel like this would be really cute like going out dress. So, you know, maybe after quarantine's over and I can go out, it'll be good. And it's also really cute to shoot in. So my dad and I are gonna go catch the sunset later. So now I'm gonna ask you guys what you think on my Instagram story. Overall, my followers rated this outfit a 7.5 out of 10. I got super mixed reviews on this one, so most of them really liked the color and the print, but they didn't like that the neckline was kind of, I guess, modest and higher up. Some said it was really classy, some thought that it was too fancy, but honestly, I kind of like being fancy during quarantine. The others said it was too simple. What do you think of today's outfit? This is a Hi, I'm Grantham, and the outfit that I picked out was this amazing white flared pants and this amazing white flared top, and I really wanted this like monochrome white with this nice hair scarf to give it a good pop of color and some boots and a nice belt. And the reason why I picked out this outfit is because I really wanted to go for this like high class vibe, but still keep it very like minimalistic, you know? You to look like you're like on a supermodel, you know, on the run, getting from the next show to another. And that was kind of the thinking that I had behind my outfit. So yeah, thank you. Hi guys, welcome to day four. Today is Grantham's outfit. He is, just look at his Instagram, it is so nice. He's like a model and he has the coolest shots. I love his Instagram and his whole vibe. I'm really excited to be wearing his outfit today. So on top I've just got this like white bell sleeve top. It's super comfortable. It's paired with this black crocodile belt. And then I've also got some nice flare jeans on. They're supposed to be cropped, but on me they fit perfect because I'm only 5'3". But wait, there's more. He wants me to try to wear like a hair scarf. I have this hair scarf from Princess Polly from like December and I still haven't figured out how to wear it. So you guys are gonna be watching me once again, attempt how to do this. It's definitely not tucked right, but this is just the best that um, I can do. But it's okay. We're gonna finish it off with these sunglasses and bam. So I think if we're talking about how close to my style this is, this is probably gonna get like a four because I have never worn anything like this. I could definitely see me shooting in like some like vintage car in the, or in the desert or something and this would be like such a cool shoot. This hair scarf really brings a lot of color into the outfit because otherwise it would just be like a nice like monochrome outfit but then you got this and it just brings it all together. I'm actually really excited that he picked this hair scarf or else I'd probably just never wear it and I guess this is a different way to wear it because I haven't tried it and it's definitely a lot easier to figure out than the other way I was trying to. 
Overall, my followers rated this a seven and a half out of 10. People felt very strongly on the spectrum about this outfit. Like they either loved it or hated it. A lot of people said that it looked rich, high fashion, chic, European vacation vibes. Someone said that they'll marry me, so that's pretty good. Other people said that they really didn't like this scarf with this look and I got compared to Gunna Bo Beep Russian Grandma Vine and ASAP Rocky Babushka Boy. Okay, Dad, I, I need to ask you what you think of my outfit. Can you rate it? Wow. I'm so surprised. How about you, Dad? What do you think? Depends? Yeah, I'll give you a seven. Wow, okay. Hi everyone, my name is Nico and um, I picked a green shirt with a pink skirt for Kate because I really thought the Cosmo Wanda whole theme would, would just work together, you know? Hey guys, welcome to day five. And today Nico picked out this outfit. It is super my style. This outfit just fits my feet so well. Like the pastel green with the pink. So this is like a light green linen top and it's perfect for summer because linen, you guys know, is super good for the summertime because it's lightweight and stuff. And then the back is also completely open. It's letting the breeze in. And especially living in Hawaii, it's gotten so hot this past week. And this top is really keeping me going. I also got this really, really adorable bag also from Princess Polly. And I feel like it would match this outfit really nicely. Nice and easy to hold. And it just looks really cute. You know, if you want to take some pictures. Overall, this rated a 7 out of 10. People were extremely split on whether or not the pink and green matched because some people really liked it and then some people really did not like it. Some said that it looked like strawberry shortcake or like watermelon sugar vibes and we love to hear it. It's like Animal Crossing. Nice, I love you, Gaga. Yeah, but it's yeah. cute. Dad, you look so happy from today's yeah. outfit. It looks so many you guys. So cute. <laughs> Can you rate it? Uh, nine. Eight. Okay. I like it. Hi, my name is Sean or Sean Reyes on TikTok. I picked the Archibald jeans, the flyaway tee, the black Phoenix denim jacket, and the Got It Bad Diamante belt. I didn't really have a reason as to why I picked these particular products. I just thought, let me pick something that I think would look good on Kate. So yeah, that's really the reason. Hey guys, day six, what's up? Um, day six, day six. I said day six. <laughs> well anyways, Sean picked today's outfit. It is so cool. So on top, I'm wearing this black and white butterfly graphic tee. It's a crop top, but you can't even really tell it's super cropped because my jeans are also really high-waisted. It's hard to show the jeans on the tripod, so I took it off. They're definitely a little long on me, as you can see, but there are these really cool like bell bottoms. It gives that really nice retro flare to it or whatever that is. They are ultra high-rise, so they're perfect to wear with crop tops, and it just cinches the waist really nicely, and I feel like it has a very flattering fit. They are long on me though, but that is just because I am 5'3", so. This crystal belt kind of brings the two pieces together. You guys know that I love sparkly stuff. And then what's even cooler, I have this jacket. It's really nice and oversized, super comfortable, you know? I love oversized stuff because I just want to hug myself in it. It just feels so nice. Yeah, in terms of how my style this is, it's probably like a 3 out of 10 because I never wear anything like this, but I really love it. I feel like this is definitely an alter ego, what would we call her? Maybe like cat. This week has definitely helped me kind of like branch out of my usual style and I really like these new colors and patterns and styles that I've discovered. So thanks guys. Overall, this outfit got a 9 out of 10, which was the highest for this week. Most people really, really loved it and gave really good feedback on it. A lot of them said it gave them those good throwback vibes, and the only little thing was that some people didn't like the big butterfly, but then some people really liked it. That's a nice one. Mm. Good, the good, butterfly? Good. Yeah. Yeah, nice. 9 out of 10. Yeah. 9 or 10? So yeah, 9 10. and a half. <laughs> oh, the party is so long. That's a lot of your style. Not my style. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of your style, but uh, I don't know. I give you a five. A five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe some other people is a better fit. 
Thank you guys so much for making the end of my video. Comment down below whose outfit you liked the best or which one you would want to wear the most. A huge shout out to all my friends who helped pick the outfits because without them, there would be no video. So make sure you guys follow them. I'm going to link all of their stuff down below. And thank you so much to Princess Polly for providing all these clothes and sponsoring this video because it would not be possible without you guys either. All the clothes that I showed in this video are going to be linked down in the description box and you can use my code Kate for 20% off. Lastly, thank you guys, the viewer, for watching this because without you guys, I would literally have nothing i wouldn't be able to work with these companies and make these cool videos so thank you so much for making my life real like so enough with the cheesy stuff if you guys want to follow me on instagram it's right here i like to post a lot of fashion stuff and you can participate in my future videos because i always post stuff on my instagram stories i hope you're all hanging in there have a lovely lovely day make sure to drink a lot of water and god bless i'll see you guys next time